हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑन द गेट 2025 मैथमेटिक्स टुडे वी विल कवर सम मोर मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन दैट आई रिसीव फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन फॉलो माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ द गेट मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन सी आई हैव अपलोडेड द लास्ट फाइव पार्ट्स इन द इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैम यू कैन ऑल्सो सी द वेरियस अदर लेक्चर्स एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर दैट इफ यू वॉच ऑल दिस वीडियोज विच इज अवेलेबल एट वन For the gate mathematics, you will be qualified the examination very well. Can you please let me know how many of you have already watched the videos and at what level you will get benefited in this gate 2025 examination? So let's start the video. In this video, we will cover the two question. First question is related to the function of the several variables, and second question is related to the determinant or the matrix. How you can solve both the questions in a very very quickly manner? so that's a very simple you can see function is given to you it is called as the function of several variable fine how you can solve this question in a very simple manner that's a very simple firstly you can take an as y approach is 0 if you consider y approach is 0 this value will be my 1 plus x sin of 1 by x square fine now if you take x approach is 0 this function is my sorry this part is my bounded fine so if you take an x approach is 0 this will goes to the 0 so the answer is my 1 so that means yes it exists finitely so s1 is my correct statement so c option is cancel fine now similarly for the second part if you consider x is my 0 this because sin is my bounded function If you consider x is zero, this value is my zero. If you consider x is zero, this value is my minus one. Yes, this also is my correct statement. So S two is false. Again, D option cancel. Now, if you consider the third part, that means you have taken the simultaneous limit x comma y zero zero. So definitely for the this portion, this value will be if you take the path y is equal to m x, this value becomes. 1 minus x square m square and 1 plus m square that means limit does not exist fine limit does not exist so if the limit does not exist that means s3 is my wrong statement so a option is cancel right answer of this problem is b is my correct answer so you can so see that within a few In two twenty second, you can solve this problem. You can quickly see that y is zero, its value is one. This value is zero, so that's a fine. Fine. So let me know. Have you obtained answer B in the given GATE twenty twenty five examination paper? And have you benefited? And how many second you are needed to solve this question in a examination paper? Now look at the second question, which is related to the matrix. So before I read the remaining statement. what i have told you in my previous lectures whenever you have a question related to the matrix you always solve either with the help of the eigen values or with the help of the rank of the matrix fine now since the matrix is not given to you so that means we can solve the problem with the help of eigen values if you remember my question uh, my lecture related to the eigen's value you can see If you watch my this PY question of the eigen values and PY question of the rank of the matrix, this lecture and the rank of the matrix, you can solve this question in a maximum maximum twenty seconds. And if you already watch them, let me know. Have you get your answer in the twenty seconds? How you can solve that? First of all, it is given that M is the matrix. What is the order of the matrix? M is the matrix. What is the order? Is it given to you in the statement? as per my memory based question receive it is not given to you so if it is not given you can choose any of the matrix i can choose m is any matrix whose order is my 2 fine if i consider the two order matrix then i can choose the eigen values lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the eigens value of the matrix m i also need the eigens value of the m inverse So can you find the eigen values of the m inverse? That is one over lambda one, one over lambda two. So can you write the characteristics polynomial of the matrix M? 
which is x square minus trace of the matrix M. What is the trace is? Sum of the eigenvalue plus determinant. That is the product of the eigen's value. Can you find the characteristics polynomial of the M inverse? Again, x square, trace of the matrix, sum of the eigenvalues plus product of the eigenvalues. So 1 over lambda 1, lambda 2. Now, as per the given statement, if you subtract them, it must be independent. Is a constant. So when it will be the constant? When the, it is independent of x? When it will be independent of the x? When the coefficient of the x as well as the coefficient of the x in the characteristics of the m inverse, both are equal. Fine. So once they are equal, that means you can solve them. It will be lambda 2 plus lambda 1 over product. What does the meaning of this? That will be lambda 1 into lambda 2 is my 1. So what does the meaning of the product of the eigen's value? That means determinant of the matrix M is my 1 and that is my required answer. Determinant of the eigen's value is my 1. Have you obtained the same answer in the examination? So let me know again in the comment box if you how many of you have get the both the options both the questions are the correct how many of you have the get the one correct option and how many of you have none of the correct answers so i am waiting for your comment students in this video as well so for more detail i recommended you you must watch about my eigen's value and the rank of the matrix so that you will be get benefited from these videos in the coming csr net examination I am 101% sure if you watch my this video, you will never fail in the examinations. Till then, you can share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Very soon, I will upload my next part in this, my YouTube channel. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.